Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my April TBR. Um, I haven't recorded in a while because I've been finishing the last week or the last semester of my bachelor's degree. But after April 1st, my classes went down to just two. So I'm down to my last two classes. May 4th will be the end of my bachelor's. That's the last day of my class. So after that, I do have some videos planned um, just because I love talking about books. Like, I get excited when I talk about books, so I just wanted to bring that back again. Hi, puppy. So yeah, I do have some videos planned, and I'm pretty excited for them. But I just wanted to go over my April TBR for Aurelium, and she's kind of like RPG readathon. Uh, it happens, there's always two semesters a year, and I will link her channel down below um, because what she has built is really incredible. Um, it's There's been a lot of work put into it, and it's an incredible world, and the Discord is great. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I have created my character, and then I've set the uh, callings that I want to do. So my character is, uh, her name is Nakoma. Um, I am with the Guild Order of the Crescent. And my calling, I want to try to do two this semester. I want to do Illusionist Robe. And then I want to do Archmage. I just think those two would be really fun to do together. I just, I, I don't know, they just seem really fun to do. So I, it's only uh, eight prompts total, I think, or it's nine prompts total. So, so we'll see what I do. Um, it's nine prompts, which is nine books. I have all of them listed, so we're just gonna go through them. And then I have the semester. Where did I put the semester? Okay. So I don't know what I did with my syllabus. Uh, I thought I taped it in my book, but I did not. So I just have it on this. Um, but anyway, so for illusion Illusionist Rogue, there is Shape Shifting, Art of Illusion, and then Psionic and div Divination. Divination. So Shape Shifting is Mimics, and that is Read from an Author Who Blurred Your Last Five Star Read. And for that one, I did Starling House. Um, I loved Starling House. It was a phenomenal read. Um, and who blurbed that was um, Olivia Blake, which is perfect because I've been needing to finish this series. So I just finished my reread of The Atlas Six. So now I'm going to read The Atlas Paradox. I loved The Atlas Six a lot. Um, I still loved it the second time around, and I'm very excited to uh, dive into the Atlas uh, Paradox. Back behind all these books, I have the third one, which is the Atlas Complex, and I just could not be um, more excited to see where it goes, because it does leave off in a pretty drastic uh, uh, cliffhanger. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what happens with that. The next prompt, which is Art of Illusion, is Shadow Play. And that is a word, game, or play in the title. I don't have any books that have the word game or play. And I really can't afford to go out and buy a book with game or play in the title. So I just made it where it says game or play. If the letters spell game or play, I can use that. So what I picked for that one is A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. So this book, um, I'm really excited about. Um, I absolutely adored A Psalm for the Wild Built and A Prayer for the Crown Shy. I cried when I read A Psalm for the Wild Built. It was, it was perfect and it was everything that I was feeling and it was just beautiful. Um, and I heard really good things about this series as well. It's called the Wayfarer series. And this one follows Rosemary. She kind of has to turn around her life and switch gears. And in doing so, she joins 
this ship and goes out to the deep dark and I think she's like either an accountant for them or like a records keeper um but she gets hired on this ship and it's found family and it just has a bunch of those cozy feel vibes and I'm very excited for it it's like a supposed to be cozy sci-fi if you will um so not as dense sci-fi but it's still very cute and I'm very excited for it because I've heard really really good things about it and that one's also on KU so I can read it on my tablet or physical version whichever I want which is always nice because sometimes I do like to read in bed um, with like the lights off and then for the third one it's psionic and divination divination and we're practicing clair clairistance I cannot I've watched this video but I can't remember how she pronounces it but we're doing the two and it's prediction bingo so she said basically you pick a book that you haven't read and I picked one that I just recently bought and haven't heard a lot of people talk about because what you're supposed to do is make a little bingo board and then you're supposed to write down all your predictions and she said anything from like oh the character will have brown hair or it's going to be enemies to lovers or just predictions you think of the book um so I basically just picked a book I knew nothing of because that would help give me the fairest game in that because I've heard a lot of people talk about a decent amount of my books but I chose Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen the only thing which I'm not gonna read the back because of this reason the only thing I know is it's lovely it's really well written and it's kind of like a magical realism ghost story is what I thought I heard somebody kind of like say and that's that's all I know about it um and I'm gonna keep it that way just so when I do the prediction bingo I could just see how right or wrong I am and we'll go from there because I don't know I'm curious I'm a curious cat so that's that's the book I picked for that one the next one is alchemy which is transmu transmutation circles and for this one it was pick a book with circles on the cover and for that I chose crime and poetry by Amanda flower and I use this one because if you look all the little keys are all circles so the little cash registers and I I just I love cozy mysteries so I figured I want to just throw a little cozy mystery and they're super easy to read um, also so if I'm getting behind or I just want a quick read I could do a little crime and poetry it just says a magical bookshop mystery um, this is about grandmother and granddaughter the grandmother owns a bookstore and I believe that someone oh and it's called charming books that's adorable um, someone dies in the grandma's oh no it's not so someone gets killed who just recently named her grandmother head of his estate in his will and he dies with one of her books one of the rare copies of a book in his possession and so all the fingers kind of get pointed to the grandma so the granddaughter stays to help figure out the crime and I don't know it just sounds really good it sounds witchy I love bookshops and I love cozy mysteries so we're gonna we're gonna try crime and poetry because that just sounds like a good time the next one is inscription and that is practical type typography this one was you take three sheets of paper you write down books you mix them up and then you pick one and the one I chose was a fire endless by Rebecca Ross I'm so excited for this um, I read A River Enchanted, finally finished that in March, and it was incredible. It's really interesting to see the difference between A Divine Rivals and A River Enchanted because you still see her absolutely gorgeous, like, detailed and flowery writing, but yet you see it in a little bit of more a mature stance. Sorry, my cat wants me to play with his string, and I'm trying to make a video and he's just he's just being all over the place um so yes I really want to read a fire endless 
and finished the duology. It was so good. I thoroughly loved A River Enchanted. It's got magic. It's got a touch of romance. It's got found family. It's got, I know you want me to play, Bubby. It's got romance and fantasy and magic. It's about this gent who, his name is Jack. He leaves the isle and the, the island to kind of break ties with his homeland, the island, because he thinks that people were shunning him as a kid and um, he didn't feel his, he was accepted. So he left to go to the mainland and he became a teacher until the laird of the island or the west side uh, called him back. But he calls him back and upon calling him back, a lot of things start stirring. Um, there's a lot of pieces in play. The island is divided in two by a river and it's the west clan versus the east clan and they've always had a history of violence and raids and terror among the two clans um and a lot of things just come to light and it's just it's so good and it's so beautiful and you root for the characters and it's just it's so beautiful i really really enjoyed it so a river, uh, a fire endless is the second one in the duology, and I am very excited to finish it. The next prompt is artif artifici, art artif. I can never pronounce it. Artifici, artificery, and it's lock and key. So it has to have a lock or key on the cover. And for this one, I chose How to Rule an Empire and Get Away with It by K.J. Parker. It's got a big old key right there. I've read 16 Ways to Defend a Walled City. I love that book. I thought it was hilarious. Loved the banter between the characters. I thought um, Orhan was an absolutely flawed. I just, I laughed out loud at that book. And it is military, like fantasy military and plotting and stuff. But I, I thought it was hilarious. He knew he was not up for it. He even called out basically to the reader at some points. I was like, why am I doing this? I'm not meant for this. Why can't anybody else? And it was really funny. So I really want to read this one. And there was a third one after it. I, I loved them. They were, they were a good time. It's just talking of this one's a completely different story. It's following a different character than the first book, but I think it's still set in that same universe after what happened in the first book. So this one we're following, or in the first book, we're following a kid named Orhan. I, think, I don't think he's a kid. I think he's like 25 or 30, if I'm not mistaken. He's kind of put in a situation where the city he lives in is under siege. And everybody pretty much just hightails it out of there on boats. And he's kind of left with this ragtag group. And he does his best to, he's an engineer. But he does his best to kind of corral everybody to defend the city. I can't I can't remember who the rival city was. They can't break into the city because the defenses on the wall is so good. But they also don't have a lot of defense to other than the wall. So it's kind of a give and take and they're all they're kind of at a stalemate sometimes. But it's just funny because Orhan's trying to orchestrate the the gangs in the city because they're, they're still there, so they're fighting against each other for power, and he's trying to fight um, with the citizens of the city and, you know, trying to protect the city because nobody else is kind of doing it. So he's the best, worst man for the job. It's really funny. I did laugh out loud. I thought it was extremely comical. <laughs> so I do, I, I have been wanting to read this for a while, and now just might be the time to pick it up. So I'm, I'm all here for it. The next one is Spells and Incantations. And this one is Spell is Quick Count. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the one where you pick a random number generator. Yeah, random number generator. And then that creates the title length. And thank God I had whatever this one is. Okay, I had 14 um, because I picked the Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. Two years ago, no, three years ago, I read... I don't know if it, I'm pretty sure it was in 2021, 
Um, I read the House of Hollow and I was like, oh, this was really good. Like it was interesting and it had its moments, but the more I sat on it, um, and surprisingly as the years gone by, I love that book. I thought it was the most unusual type of writing I've ever read because I've never had, I've had authors talk about love or have talked about the scenery, but Crystal Sutherland wrote about the smells. And if you've read House of Hollow, please comment down below because I'm interested to know what you think of it. Because I, like, she put so much emphasis on the smell, especially in certain scenes um, in the forest, which really brought to life what was happening. It was so well done. And I've never had a book grip me with the smells before. So when I knew, when I heard she was coming out with this book, a new one, and it's still YA horror, I believe, I had to get it because I'm very curious of her writing style. I'm pretty sure this is only like her second like main novel. So I'm I'm just thoroughly excited. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait because I don't know a lot about that book. I kind of want to keep it that way because I just love to be surprised sometimes. But I loved House of Hollow and how I need to rebuy it because I sold it because I was like, oh, this is just okay. But it's so good. And it was so weirdly gripping in its um in its smell i just i've never had a book do that before so the next prompt for arc mage is art of illusion which is shadow play which was either game or play in the title again i don't have a book that has that so i just worked with what can work with my budget and i picked a light in the flame by j jennifer l armnitrout um, finishing, I'll get to it in a second, but I'm going to be finishing A War of Two Queens this month. So the next one in the series, which they're all right here, is A Light in the Flame. And I'm very excited about it. So, um, I'm not, this one, it, I'm just going to tell you who it follows because it's major spoilers for, for Blood and Ash. But this one follows Nykthos and Serafina and the backstory from Blood and Ash. So this is book two and I'm very excited about it. Um, very excited to finally be getting to it. The only thing that bothers me is like all the books have that like kind of velvety feel to the to the dust jackets and this one doesn't. It's very like shiny and then it's also very like more square. I don't know. It just it's it's it was made differently than the other ones but anyway it's being a little too picky but it's not the velvety we're used to. And then Conjuration is Blinding Prism. And this one was a random color generator, I believe. So I spun black. <laughs> so for the all black title, I had a bunch of choices. But I chose Unnatural Magic by C.M. Wagner. I tried reading this in the winter. But I'm pretty sure I stopped reading it because I saw that it was set in spring and I just wanted to wait just a little bit. And this, I've had this on my TBR for a very long time. But I'm really excited to get to it. It's about a girl who wants to go to the university in the big city. But it's frowned upon that a woman gets educated. So she fights her way in there and becomes part of the alumni and then it talks about a troll who falls in love with the soldier. And then it talks about how the troll and Anna's um, life kind of mix and mingle. And it just sounds beautiful. And I'm all for love. And it just, and I love the cover. So, like, the color choices that they chose for this is phenomenal. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to this as well. So that's all the ones for Aurelium. The last book on my TBR is just finishing War of Two Queens. I am filming this on April 3rd. So as of right now, I only have less than 200 pages left of this. Um, so I should be finishing it fairly soon. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's taken me forever to read it because there's a lot of stakes in this book. <laughs> and it was hard to get through because the tension was so good um but yes i'm very excited to get through this so i can read a light in the flame 
and just have more reveal itself. Uh, so yeah, that is my entire TBR for the month of April. I'm really excited. Probably not going to get through all of it. It's going to, it'll be okay. I'm hoping to get at least through the illusion ro illusionist rogue part and then we'll see how much I get through the Archmage. But it's all for fun anyway and like to have a good time. And I, I just really like the mixture of books I have because I have fantasy and I have kind of romanticy and I have sci-fi mixed with like a military book and then a little dash of cozy mystery. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to them. Let me know what you guys are reading for Aurelium or if you guys participate, I'll link her channel down below because she deserves all the credit in the world for creating this, this world really. Um, it's this whole extravagant thing and there's a lot of work put into it and you can see that. So it's just, I really love it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys are reading down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite book was for March because I don't know what mine was. Probably either Starling House or uh, A River Endless. A uh, River Endless. A River Enchanted. I really loved those two. So... Yeah, let me, let me know what your guys' favorite recent five-star reads was. And uh, remember, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Always feel free to comment books down below. And be kind to one another. Create a safe space for one another. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!